I'm Rebecca Gordon. I'm Sylvia Gordon. Are you overpaid as a Medicare insurance agent, specifically specifically MedAdvantage and a Part D agent? That Are you overpaid? such a crap um, topic. That is so much well, crap. Well, you got to raise your fair market value for in the standard states for your Medicare Advantage went up 1.6%. Yeah. What did inflation do? Yeah. True inflation, they are the numbers that they won't release in five. So the reason five, why we're talking five, about 6%. this is because there's a group. I don't know if we can go to that slide. Evidently, they're super, super, super smart. Alliance of Community Health Plans. They are super smart people. Um, they're trying to get the ear CMS saying that agents are paid too much because we have the opportunity to earn an extra. They propose limiting the amount of administrative bucks. fees paid to brokers. They said it's out of hand. God, it's outrageous. It, yeah. So they are, they have, yeah, they launched this MA for tomorrow plan. Um, I do not understand where they come up with this. Okay. So currently carriers can pay an additional fee based on like HRA health reimbursement so, assessments. So you can do an HRA, you can make 50 30, bucks. 50, 80, it varies. Um, setting appointments with the primary care physicians. Which is something they called out, which could be $100, $150. It's not commonly available. It's a very limited scope. Center but well. that'd be that could be another. But, that could so be not, another. Maybe if you did the two, you're at 200 Giving client emails. Uh, there's one carrier, I think, that pays 20 bucks for a, a valid client email. Okay, so now we're at 200 bucks, 220 bucks? Nowhere. There's near. no way to get to the 600. It's just somebody hitting a hornet's nest trying to make our jobs so let's not go back valid. To, let's go back to Part D commissions. Part D was 80, 92 bucks last year, went up to $100. So that went up 8%. So that's a nice little increase. However, yeah. <laughs> A lot of plans don't pay a commission at all. So fair market value is the most the carrier can pay you. They're not required to pay you. Up to they don't have yeah. to pay you at all. They can pay you any iteration below that or not at all. So are agents overpaid? Let me go back to my first screen there. No, no, we're not overpaid. We're not even keeping pace with inflation. Do you hear any chatter about it? No. It is just insulting we're that not, we would even be talking about this because Alliance of Community Health they got us on our radar. It we're just, we're part of, we're the problem in this whole in this yeah. whole system. We're the problem. The good guys so, are the problem. Have a great week.